Hey, 8th graders, Miss Crawford. I just wanted to tell you guys that I hope you're having a great Friday. And to give you just a quick rundown on this Coaster Creator assignment that we're starting today. So you guys will see this Coaster Creator assignment says Part 2. Um, as of right now, we're not going to do Part 1 because the link is being a little difficult. Um, so for Part 2 and when we do Part 3 in a couple weeks, we'll have a fun little competition on who can build the best roller coaster. You guys will be using this link right here. Um, you guys can also get this on Teams. I'm not sure if the one in the worksheet works great, but get it off of Teams. Or you guys can just go up to Google and type in Jason Coaster Creator. And it should be the first link for you. When you guys open it, you might see this blank screen that says, uh, this content requires the Adobe Flash Player 9 Get Flash. So if you guys click on that, uh, it should ask you guys, do you want to do this? Yes, I want to allow that. Okay. Um, if you guys are having issues and you don't get that little pop-up, you might have to go to your settings and uh, there should be like a little pop-up block right here. If you guys go click to that and click manage, you guys should be able to um, change your setting to ask and then it'll ask you if you want to allow that. Okay, so this is your guys's activity for the um, a couple parts of this roller coaster mania. So first one we want to go to is learn how to craft a super coaster. We're not going to be building one quite right yet. I'm going to pause her. Um, so the this first part will teach you guys a little bit about the science be uh, behind roller coasters and help you guys answer these questions for you. So remember, anytime you see colored text, that's where you need to type an answer. So if I look at the first question, it says the science of a roller coaster is similar to what natural phenomenon and why? So if we look in this, we can kind of read. Hi, I'm a Madhu Argonaut for Mission 2 of Operation, blah, blah, blah. To study tsunamis with Dr. Titov, I had to learn how energy is converted and transformed. To that, we actually started by learning about roller coasters. So the natural phenomenon that um, kind of mimics the same thing with roller coasters is tsunamis. So they're really big waves in the ocean. So in here, I would type in tsunamis. Okay, and then why? Uh, because they show a good transfer of energy. So learning how energy is converted and transformed. Okay, then you guys will click the next button. Um, so the science behind roller coasters and tsunamis is surprisingly similar. Rapid energy transfers between kinetic and potential energy make roller coasters thrilling. So that's just a better description as to why we study tsunamis and roller coasters in the same hand. Okay, those rapid transfers are the same reason tsunamis are so threatening. So now it's your turn. Apply what you know about potential and kinetic energy and energy transformation, uh, transformation to build a fun but safe roller coaster. So that will be kind of the whole goal as to whether your guys' roller coaster uh, flopser is successful. Okay, next question. What three factors affect potential energy? So I gave you a hint here. Look at the formula on the top. G does not stand for grams. So if I look again back in this... I have a formula right here. Potential energy is equal to the mass times G times height. So G is not grams. So let's think about what G might be. Okay. Uh, let me see if it talks about it in here. So notice that the mass is part of potential energy. The more mass you have, the more energy you put into the system. More energy means you can more uh, achieve a greater velocity. And with a greater velocity, you can get a higher score. Okay, so it also means that your heart, cars will have a hard time slowing down. Okay, uh, so if G is not, let me see if it says it. Okay, so then it says right here, like the mass of a car, height is part of the equation, so that's where height comes in at. Uh, so then the last one here, like mo most roller coasters, cars are pulled up the first hill with a motor, but gravity, so G is gravity, will eventually bring it down, okay? So the higher the first hill, the further the car has to fall, and the higher up uh, you take your car, the more energy your car is storing. So gravity is really important when we're looking at potential energy, especially when we're talking about a roller coaster on hills, okay? Uh, then you guys can see this right here. I read that just a second ago, so if you guys kind of go back a couple pages, you guys can find where I talked about that. Um, next question, what two factors affect kinetic energy? Again, hint, look at your formula. So here's your formula towards kinetic energy. It's all given there for you. So then you guys can go on to read about kinetic energy. 
um, and answer the last of these questions. So why is the first hill so important? You guys will read about that. What two things propel the roller coaster up and over the first hill? Okay, so what brings it up and what takes it down? Okay, so think about that. You guys could probably answer that without this little simulation. What takes it up the first hill? And then why does it go down the first hill? What's that main factor that brings anything down? Okay, um, the rest of these you guys can just read through. They're pretty self-explanatory. Um, then what you guys are going to do is you're going to go ahead and mess around with building a roller coaster and try to find some things that go well. Um, so in order for you guys to have a successful coaster, you guys have to have it be fun, but it also can't kill everybody. <laughs> so... Um, it can't stop in the middle of the track, and then it can't blow through the last final gate. Um, so you guys will have to get a good score here. Once you guys are done with that, you'll go to build a roller coaster. You guys can design your roller coaster. You can change the color. You can change how many cars there are, all of that. Okay, and then you guys will run your roller coaster and start looking at some things that are successful with your roller coaster and some things that are not so successful, like maybe you didn't have enough energy going into it because your first hill wasn't large enough, okay? And then it just stopped. Maybe it stops in the middle of a loop and goes backwards, okay? So that's you guys' activity for today. It should be fairly simple. Make sure you get the questions done first before you guys are messing around with anything in the experimenting on building. If you have time at the end of class, then you need to do this section. But if you don't get it done, that's okay too, Okay, so focus on getting 1 through 15 answered first before you go on. We're going to have a whole day de designated to building a roller coaster and seeing who can build the best roller coaster that scores the highest amount of points. Okay, I hope you guys are all having a good day. I miss seeing you guys. I hope you're all staying healthy. Um, I will talk to you soon. Bye.